Yo, what's up? I'm Alex, and I'm going to make a 2D platformer game in 48 hours. Well, basically, from Friday until Sunday. 48 hours is just the title, in it? I haven't really got a specific idea in mind at the moment, but I know I want to make a 2D platformer. So I guess the place to start would be, you know, actually coming up with something to make. Uh, platformer, video games, oh, ah, oh, actually, no, no, it sucks. You know what, I think I'll get back to you on that one. 2,000 years later. Right, okay, so I've got some ideas now. Do you remember Stray, the best game of 2022? So, yeah, I'm basically just going to do that. It's going to be a 2D platformer, you play as a cat, and you have 9 lives to get to the end of the game. So it's basically a platformer with a lives counter. I've uh, never seen that one before. So I started working on the movement first. Obviously, that's kind of the, you know, it's kind of the most important thing for a platformer. I made this charge jump mechanic. So you hold down space, the longer you hold it, the higher you jump. It's pretty simple, but you know, it's kind of cool. I also made this wall slide mechanic and it works like this. So you jump onto a wall, you automatically hook onto it and then you can slide down the wall and spring off whenever you want. You can't chain it though, you can only do it once. It's pretty pretty cool, I mean, nah, actually, <laughs> it's pretty basic. Wait, 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 hold on. I almost forgot to mention the most important feature in the entire game. Wait, wait, wait. <coughs> Boom. Game changer. Right, got to get some levels going now, I suppose. So, I blocked out some levels with the basic tiles that I made. It's very rough, but it's just to kind of get a good idea of what I want the structure to be. Also, by the way, tile setter, absolute lifesaver, properly wicked. Highly recommend that one. Anyway, right? I plan to have four levels. So, the alley is the first level. This part's just kind of the tutorial. You can't really die here. It's just to teach the player the controls. And then the building sides, I, I never really came up with a good name for this one. This part gets a bit harder, you know. You can actually die in this level. So you walk along these pipes, along the side of a building. There's a few obstacles like gaps and falling platforms, that sort of thing. The next level is the rooftops. This is the penultimate level. You gotta jump across buildings and there's a few more falling platforms, more gaps, etc. Stuff like that. And then the last level is the construction site. It's the hardest, most dangerous level. You'll have objects falling on top of you, objects falling from under. Uh, future Alex here. This, this did not turn out as expected. That's why there's no image for the construction site. But uh, you'll see that later in the video. And by this point, it was getting kind of late and uh, I decided it was time to use the best debugging tool there is, my bed. So that's what I did. I read a book and I went to sleep. Oh, right, right, it's 9am in the morning, meeting Shreddies, and I need to get to work. Right, where were we? So I finished the level designs off that I made yesterday, and I made a few tweaks because I came back to it with some fresh eyes. And then with that out of the way, I started on the environmental hazards. First I made these falling pipes, you step on them, and they fall. It's exactly what it says on the tin, really. And then I made this falling plank, similar thing, Step on the middle, and then it breaks. But this, this is what I really wanted to show you. It's like a fire escape railing thing. So you jump on it, it'll make a creaking sound, the whole sprite will shake a little bit, and then you have to race your way to the top before it falls. And now that I'm saying it out loud, I realize that this is just another falling platform. Every danger in this game is a falling platform. Yeah, okay, I need something different, some variety here. So, what I did was I made up this section where the player will be sliding down a roof and dodging left and right to avoid obstacles. It's basically the same as a normal scene except there's low gravity and no collision to actually stand on, so you just fall really slowly. That's how I achieved that. It looks a bit rough at the minute, but, but you get the idea. Then after that, it was just about the end of Saturday. Right, the main thing I needed to get done now was art, because at the minute it looks 
shocking. And art is my least favourite part of game development. So of course I put it off till later. So I put all the obstacles into the game, I revised some of the level designs, added these tutorial boxes, I had some lunch, and oh my god, look at the time. Right, okay, yeah, the art thing. So I made this brick tile set that could make bricks quickly, and oh man, that doesn't even look that good. Uh, it took me forever to make this too. So I made this incredibly quick and rushed background with some parallaxing. That's, uh, that, that's, that's cool, huh? Cool enough to use in every single level. Yep, that looks great. I then made this colour rec that's a bit transparent and blue so it can, you know, artificially make the Emma look a bit better. And then I made some random stuff like this window, bin, uh, this printer thing, maybe? I don't even know what I'm looking at here. What is this? Whatever, I'm running out of time. I can't fix it. Right, yeah. I definitely don't have enough time. i got to get rid of some stuff. The last level, gone. Get rid of it. Boom. Never even existed. What are you talking about? And then uh, this sliding thing, yeah, it was dumb anyway, delete it. Make a quick menu screen and... It's done. It's late at night, I just finished making the menu. I'll show you the finished result in the morning. Right finished the game and it's okay I mean it could have been a lot better it's mediocre at best I'm quite happy with the movement I think I did a pretty good job on that part the level design is nothing special really not very thrilling or hard nine lives is way more than enough anyway I think the worst part is definitely the art I just don't really like doing it so it takes me ages and I was running out of time, so it's very rushed. And all in all, it could be improved to say the least. Uh, whatever, whatever, right? Subscribe, like the video, see ya.